Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at cameras. So, what is a camera exactly, and how does it work in Unity? Well, put simply, it is a way of rendering our game and outputting via this camera. So, basically, what the camera sees is also what the player sees. And you can swap cameras in and out, change them, and modify them in many different ways. By default, you will have the main camera right here. And you also get this little camera preview down here. So if we were to press play, what the camera sees is what we would see right here, despite the fact we are looking at this in the scene view. Now, if we go back to our game, we can see absolutely nothing. However, if we press play, and we can then change this camera, and it works in the same way as pretty much any other object, we can move it around our scene, bring it closer, bring it further away, rotate and basically you just need to align your camera and bring it into a position where you can see and you can see what I'm doing here I'm pivoting around the scene and getting into a place where the camera will be relative and can see something now you'll notice at this point nothing is still seen in here cameras can be a little bit tricky sometimes to work with good way of getting around this is if we drag this main camera onto the skull right here we can zero out the position of the camera and then pull that camera outwards and upwards. It's also worth noting that the camera is sensitive to many different factors i.e lighting within Unity. So if we were to go to window rendering light settings and change the skybox back to something normal we'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So let's press play and we can see how this camera is now rendering. And the reason the mattress has fallen there is just because of gravity. But I'm just going to turn that off just for the purposes of this video by removing that component. Speaking of components, the camera component obviously is attached to the camera and this contains many things. By default, it's pretty standard and pretty decent to deal with. The one thing you may want to change is the field of view. And if we change this field of view here, you'll see it change in this camera preview. It's kind of like a zooming thing again it's up to you. So let's see how we can swap cameras in and out to create a different effect. So if we go, go uh, I can't get my words out there, if we go to game object and then go down to camera it will add a brand new camera to the scene with a brand new camera preview. So I'm going to bring this camera over this way, bring it to here and I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to press play. Now you'll notice the camera which renders is this one that we've added in. So whatever is the latest camera will be the one that renders. So I'm going to bring these two cameras next to each other and then I'm going to press play. So what we can do is we could turn off this camera by ticking this little box up here and it would automatically switch to the next active camera. In this case, main camera. So you can see just by changing like that, we can change the camera angle relatively easily. And you can actually change the camera during the game. So if we turn this camera off, go to our main camera, we could rotate our camera in game. However, just like any other object, when you change it in game and press the play button to stop, it changes back to what it initially should be. So multiple cams can be used in one scene and you can use codes to switch between the two. Basically what we did when we were turning it on and off, that was basically all you need to do in the code. You can turn the cameras off and you can add animations to cameras. You can add effects to cameras like post processing. You can really customize a camera, but they are absolutely essential and vital in any game in Unity, not just 3D games, but 2D as well, because as I said earlier, Whatever the camera sees is what is projected and rendered so the player can see it too. It basically is a way of feeding onto your screen. And like I say, you can have many, many cameras all doing different things. So just one quick last example. I'm going to change this camera to there. And then I'm going to hold control, press D to duplicate once again. And then I'm going to bring this camera over here and then just make it look this way. So now we have three cameras in our scene. There we go. So we can turn the cameras on and off, modify, change, do whatever we want. See? Change it like that. The last thing I'm going to talk about is this. You may get this error 
no cameras rendering if all cameras are off. And what that essentially means is exactly what it says. There are no cameras that can render anything in the scene. And if we were to change anything, for example, the skull, you wouldn't see it rendering at all. You just wouldn't see anything at all until you turn the camera back on. And we can see there the effects have changed. Even though they would have changed in scene view, they won't change in the game view because the camera isn't rendering. So we can turn that off and you get the same error. So if you ever have this error, you just need to make sure that at least one of your cameras is rendering. Basically, is it turned on? So guys, I hope that's helped on how cameras work, what they're for and what you can do with them. And if you want to know any more, please check out the channel, hit subscribe, click the bell icon as well, because there is loads and loads for you guys to learn. Thank you very much for watching.